Robert Kiyosaki's 50 Lessons That Made Me Rich. Buckle up and get ready to be amazed, educated, shocked, and inspired by these 50 lessons, tips, success rules, and abundance guidelines by Robert Kiyosaki. As you probably know, he is a fantastic and phenomenal man who has created wealth, has published books, and also educates so everyone has the opportunity to learn, grow, and create abundance. Let's start learning and then implement. So Robert says, Number one, work for knowledge, not money. Don't be addicted to money, work to learn. Don't work for money, work for knowledge. Young people oftentimes are trapped in the thought of working for money. After graduating from a university, they believe they are already equipped with the necessary knowledge and look for high paying jobs. Eventually, they find those, but soon realize that money alone isn't as satisfying as they thought. Not only Robert Kiyosaki, but many of the most successful entrepreneurs of our time share how working for free to others and gaining experience and knowledge was valuable in starting their career. Knowledge, or applied knowledge specifically, is one of the most powerful resources of our time and is inevitable in building wealth and living a happy life. However, if you're too focused on making money, you might lose valuable opportunities that might change your life. Money always follows knowledge and smart decisions, not the other way around. To maximize your chances for success, you must learn from people who are ahead of you. Support them on their path, even if it's voluntary so that they later have a good reason to support you afterward. There's nothing more valuable than getting insights from someone who's living your desired life. Look for opportunities to support others, leverage your network. Once you have enough knowledge and experience, building your business, career, and sustainable wealth will be so much easier than learning the hard lessons by yourself. Number two, money is just an idea. Next, money comes and goes, but if you have the education about how money works, you gain power over it and can begin building wealth. The primary difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they manage fear. Failure inspires winners. Failure defeats losers. Number six, focus on growing your income and spirit. It's more important to grow your income than cut your expenses. It's more important to grow your spirit than cut your dreams. One of the main reasons why most people succumb to financial struggles is that they only think about their expenses. The majority of the population constantly looks for ways to save money, but doesn't bother about making more money. While saving is certainly a good idea, only leveraging your income can make a significant impact on your wealth in the long run. That is why Kiyosaki highlighted the importance of having multiple sources of income. In actuality, wealthy people don't save money. They all invest wisely and let their money work for them, while they're busy building even more income streams. Most people would drive to a faraway supermarket to save a few bucks on groceries, but wouldn't take a few hours to find out how they could increase their income. Saving is a lot easier than building new income sources, and unfortunately, the majority would choose comfort over hard work for a lifetime. Saving money might be more comfortable than looking for further income streams. Yet, making your money work for you is how you'll not just save a few bucks, but build significant wealth. Instead of decreasing your expenses, ask yourselves, how can you build another stream of income? Maybe you have some time in the evenings or on weekends to help someone in exchange for a fee. Or perhaps you have some skills and knowledge you could teach others and get paid for it. Or what about completing a few courses on high-paying skills 
such as video editing, and offering these as a freelance service. If you're open to change and ready to get to work, new money-making opportunities will come your way, and you'll just need to say yes and get shit done. Number seven, often in the real world, it's not the smart who get ahead, but the bold. Cash flow tells the story of how a person handles money. Up next at number nine, financial struggle is often the result of people working all their lives for someone else. Next, I'd rather welcome change than cling to the past. People's lives are forever controlled by two emotions, fear and greed. Number 12, don't be afraid of losses. In the real world, the smartest people are people who make mistakes and learn. In school, the smartest people don't make mistakes. School taught us to avoid mistakes. While we ignore the correct answers, mistakes are in a constant hotspot. According to Kiyosaki, fear of failure is one of the main reasons why most people fail in life and in business. This fear caused them not to get out of their comfort zone, thus not giving room for new learnings and skills. Most successful entrepreneurs made mistakes and suffered various failures until they eventually succeeded. If you're afraid of losing, winning will be hard. If you, however, don't worry about failure and just keep going with perseverance and smart decisions, you won't have much to lose. Rather, a new set of lessons will wave at you. To be a successful business owner and investor, you have to be emotionally neutral to winning and losing. Emotions are what make us human, make us real. The word emotion stands for energy in motion. Be truthful about your emotions and use your mind and emotions in your favor, not against yourself. The single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. If it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth in what seems to be an instant. Next, if you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself. Learn something, grow wiser. Don't blame other people for your problems. Number 17, find a game where you can win. Find a game where you can win and then commit your life to playing it and play to win. Most people fail in business and in life because they focus on the wrong activities and goals. We can see most young graduates nowadays who took paths that are far different from their courses. While being a jack of all trades is advantageous, the complete reality is that you need to focus on something that matches your strengths and talents. Succeeding in something that you don't enjoy is so much harder than playing a game where you can apply your strengths. Just imagine yourself being hired for a high-paying job that doesn't suit your strengths and interests. There's no point in forcing success at something that is outside of your talent zone. Of course, you can learn everything, but working on your weaknesses takes way more time and energy than investing in your strengths. Sometimes, you need to sacrifice the good for the great and let go of the wrong expectations in order to focus on something that is not only promising, but also exciting for your soul. It's not only easier, but also more fun to do something you're good at. I am concerned that too many people are focused too much on money and not on their greatest wealth, which is their education. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. Most people fail to realize that in life, it's not about how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. Next, if fear is too strong, the genius is suppressed. Then, 
when you come to the boundaries of what you know, it is time to make some mistakes. Number 23. Don't rely on formal education. The trouble with school is they give you the answer, then they give you the exam. That's not life. Real life, and particularly real business, are so much different than what we learn at schools and universities. Some say that though they graduate from a business school, they knew nothing about starting and running a business until they actually did it. If you rely on formal education, you might get a job, but only through self-education can you make a fortune and build successful businesses. While schools teach you to avoid failure, most great businesses have been built after numerous mistakes. Moreover, the school teaches young learners that there is one solution to a problem, which is not the usual case in real life since a certain problem can be solved through various methods. Once you take a close look, you'll see how successful entrepreneurs hardly rely on formal education. Unfortunately, most parents put pressure on their children to focus on studying in school instead of focusing on the real lesson of life outside of school. The richest people in the world build networks. Everyone else is trained to look for work. If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and control it. Skills make you rich, not theories. Leverage is the reason some people become rich and others do not become rich. Next, a plan is a bridge to your dreams. The more a person seeks scrutiny, the more that person gives up control over his life. Number 30. Be careful about how you spend your time. The only difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they use their time. Wealthy people and successful entrepreneurs both know that their time is one of their most valuable resources. Instead of wasting time, they spend money to solve problems. The rich never use their time on things that won't make them more money. The majority, however, does the opposite. Most people spend hours solving minor challenges and drain their energy because it's cheaper than paying for professional support. Furthermore, they indulge in temporary pleasures that steal this valuable resource that they could have spent on learning new skills. If you spend your time on the wrong activities, like TV, games, useless chatting, watching series shows, shopping with no reason, partying, smoking, drinking, you'll find yourself in the wrong places. Poor, depressed, unhealthy, unhappy, and in a bad company. If you, however, prioritize your time and energy, you'll only do activities that are meaningful and effective. This, in return, will help you to achieve your desired goals much quicker. One of the most important things a real investor needs to say is this. I want my money back, and I also want to keep my investments. If you're still doing what mommy and daddy said for you to do, like go to school, get a job, save money, you're losing. Next, rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities that they think are assets. There is always risk, so learn to manage risk instead of avoiding it. Number 35. Never hope for something. Find out where you are at, where you are going, and build a plan to get there. Robert believes that hope drains energy. Action, however, creates energy. More and more people spend their time thinking and imagining fortune and good life, yet lack the necessary action to attain what they want. They have ideas, hopes, 
and dreams, but no action plans. Remember that without execution, even the best idea isn't worth anything. Hoping for something and not receiving it will kill your motivation and energy. However, taking massive, determined action and using the law of attraction will help you to achieve your goals. Manifestation will get you somewhere that hoping and daydreaming won't. The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. Find the game where you can win, and then commit your life to playing it, and play to win. A person can be highly educated, professionally successful, and financially literate. Next, an important distinction is that rich people buy luxuries last, while the poor and middle class tend to buy luxuries first. Number 40. The best knowledge results from personal experience. Every time I did an investment, be it real estate or business, I got smarter because experience makes you smarter. According to Kiyosaki, personal experience is the best investment you can make. He believes that we mostly learn from our own mistakes and openly shares how he made wrong decisions, got into debt, and was criticized for his actions. Furthermore, by committing mistakes, one can find ways to avoid making the same mistake twice, which helps him or her to be proactive in solving related problems. The philosophy of the rich and the poor is this. The rich invest their money and spend what is left. The poor spend their money and invest what is left. Simple math and common sense are all you need to do well financially. Many financial problems are caused by trying to keep up with the Joneses. In today's fast-changing world, it's not so much what you know anymore that counts, because often what you know is old. It is how fast you learn. That skill? It's priceless. It is not gambling if you know what you're doing. It is gambling if you're just throwing money into a deal and praying. Number 46. Follow one course until success. According to Robert Kiyosaki, FOCUS is an acronym for follow one course until success. He particularly encourages young people to do one thing at a time and not work on too many projects at the same time. Doing this will help you remember more, get more done in less time, de-stress, and bring more attention to your work. And work smarter instead of just harder. In our current society, the shiny object syndrome is one of the main reasons why so many people end up unfulfilled. They constantly see new opportunities and challenges hop on them, but quickly lose interest because they think there's something even better. When Kiyosaki started investing, he did it over and over again, made many mistakes, but didn't give up until he finally understood the basics and succeeded. Once he felt confident about his investment skills, he was curious about entrepreneurship and tried out different business models until he found one that was promising. Again, he focused on that one thing until it worked out. Great things and worthy results hardly come through the first attempt. You just have to persevere and to try over and over again until you have already mastered it. Unfortunately, most people give up way too early and thus never experience significant wins. Sometimes, the key to success is in biting through and continuing with one single thing instead of starting with new ideas every few months. Sight is what you see with your eyes. Vision is what you see with your mind. Keep expenses low, reduce liabilities, 
and diligently build a base of solid assets. Most people never get wealthy simply because they are not trained financially to recognize opportunities right in front of them. Number 50. Find your rich dad and learn from it. Amazing wisdom words and advice born through experience and success. But without application and action, the most priceless advice isn't worth anything. If you, however, apply one piece of advice at a time, you might soon realize how these small steps accumulate and lead to changes in your life, business, and bank account. Share your thoughts in the comment section. What was the most valuable advice from Robert Kiyosaki for you? Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be notified about our valuable content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.